This is Algebra 2, Chapter 4, Section 7, in which we will be doing transformations of quadratic graphs. Now, so far, we've worked with our functions in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. There's another version of it, another variation here, called vertex form. And it's called that because you can read the vertex right out of it. And it, the idea is to rewrite the equation so that it looks like this, a times x minus h squared plus k. Then the vertex values are h and k. And the secret for how to get from here to here is using our favorite tactic from before, completing the square. Now, we have to modify our approach to completing the square a little bit. Not much, just a little. But then we can go right through and get to our vertex form. So let's take this equation, get it to vertex form, and then read out the vertex, the axis, and the direction of opening. Now, direction of opening is either going to be up or down. Okay. Now remember our goal is to make this equation look like that. Okay. To do that we have to play the complete the square game. So I'm going to follow the steps that we learned back in 4 or 5 on how to complete the square. I'm going to divide by the negative 2 because it's in the front. Then I'm going to subtract the constant term over to get it away from my variables by x squared and my, y, my 4x. Then I'm going to do this number, half of this, and square it. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. Squared is 4. Add 4 to both sides. Okay. The right side I can factor like we did back in 4 or 5. The left side, I can clean this up a little bit. Negative 3 halves plus 4. My calculator told me 2 and a half. I have no reason to doubt it. Now, I'm still trying to get to here. Well, that means I need y by itself, so I need to subtract the 2 and a half over and then multiply by negative 2. Negative 2 times stuff squared and then negative 2 times negative 2 and a half gives me plus 5. A common mistake is to try to multiply the negative 2 times this negative 2. It's inside the square, so the value outside here, negative 2, can't get to it. The square is blocking it. Now we have it in the right form. Now we can read the vertex. Remember, the vertex is h, k. Well, h here is 2, k is 5, so the vertex is 2, 5. The axis of symmetry is the x value of that vertex. So x equals 2 is the axis of symmetry. And then since this is negative, it opens down. If your a number is positive, it opens up. When it's negative, it opens down. Okay. I'm going to let you try one. y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 17. Take a minute, see what you can do with it, and then come back and check. Divide by the 2 first. Get the 8.5 out of the way. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Squared is 9. So we add 9. The right is a square that we can clean up. The left we can do some arithmetic on. Subtract the half over. Multiply by the 2. So the vertex is 3, negative 1. The axis is x equals 3. And since the 2 here is positive, it opens up. Okay. 
Now, they can play this game a little bit different way to us. They want us to find the equation of the one that they gave us the graph for. And they've given us some points. Okay. First off, we're, since they gave us the graph, this is the form you want to really work at. Okay. Now, we know the vertex. We can see it. It's 3, 2. H is 3, K is 2. The only thing we don't know is our A, but we can get that. All we have to do is pick one of these other points. Okay. I picked this one. 7, negative 2. Plug those values in for X and Y. And now it's just straight up algebra to solve for, K, for uh, A. 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 squared is 16, and I subtracted this 2 over with this one to make negative 4, so A is negative a quarter. Well, now that I know A is negative a quarter, I can write the final equation. Am I surprised that it's a negative value? Not at all, because it's upside down. So I expected a negative value. Okay, I'm going to let you try one. Okay. Um, take a second here. Try to generate an equation that looks like this. Okay. We've got our vertex, negative 2, 1. Since h is negative 2, opposite negative 2 becomes plus 2. And k is negative 1. Pick a point. I picked this one. No special reason, just because. Do a little arithmetic. Find out that A is 2, so then we can write our equation. Okay. Now one more here. They're going to ask us to graph this, and they've given it to us in vertex form. And we love it when they do that because now we don't have to figure out the vertex. We can see it. The vertex is 3, negative 2. Just like we talked about earlier, I'm going to pick values below 3 and values above 3, and I'm going to plug into this equation. So if I plug in 1, calculator gave me 6. It'll be the same at 5. When I plug in 2, I get 0, the same at 4. Now it's just a matter of plotting the points. 1, 6, 2, 0, 3, negative 2, 4, 0, and 5, 6. And then all I have to do is draw my parabola. Okay. We love it when they give it to us in vertex form. The work becomes easy. It's just plugging and chugging. Thought so. So, vertex form, we're going to have to do some completing the square to get there, which is a good thing because we know how to do that. When they give it to us in vertex form and ask us to graph, we can just read the vertex and then the rest is easy. If you had questions along the way, hopefully you wrote those down. Bring them in with you and we will see you in class.